Currently waiting. We are very hungry. My first coffee of the day. Delicious food. Avocado. I'm so happy. Salsa type of mash over here. I'll take a little bit of the hot sauce as well. Mm. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Stefty. And I'm Memes. We are here at the Grass Valley. Old Town. Specifically here because we want to get some eats. Yes. First up, we're going to be eating at, what is that place called again? South Pine Cafe. <laughs> and then the second thing on the list is gluten-free bakery treats. Okay, so I'm thinking of getting huevos rancheros. It has corn tortilla, black beans, brown rice, two eggs, Green sauce and cheese topped with avocado salsa, sour cream, cilantro, and green onion served with those fries. Sounds delicious. That's a whole bunch. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm thinking about getting the breakfast burrito. Got scrambled eggs, onions, mushrooms, corn salsa, jack cheese topped with salsa, sour cream, avocado, cilantro, green onions. They have gluten-free wraps, so I'm gonna see if I can get that with the burrito. So it's a gluten-free wrap. We'll find out. So it turns out they do have a gluten-free wrap, so I will be getting a breakfast burrito with the gluten-free wrap, which I'm very excited about. They also have gluten-free French toast, which would be delicious. Kind of want that too. <laughs> On the side, maybe. Yeah, but we're you know we got the the gluten-free bakery that we're gonna go to That's next, right. so gotta pace myself. My first coffee of the day. I believe this is a local coffee, Caroline's coffee. So let's just give it a try. Mm. Good. Yeah, delicious. Yes. We got fried eggs, some homemade salsa, sour cream, avocado on top, homemade fries, obviously the black beans. And we got this homemade jalapeno sauce that they, they do. Maybe do a little, little side. Oh, yes. That's what I'm looking for. A little avocado, maybe spread of sour cream. Okay, and then a little bit more salsa. And I'm gonna just go with it to this. I don't know how hot that's gonna be. Let's give that a try. I'm so happy. It is so good. It tastes like a homemade meal made with love. I love it. Delicious. It's delicious. Turns out they were out of gluten-free wraps. Unfortunate, but it's okay. So I got a open-faced burrito, breakfast burrito, with some toast as well. So, yeah. so we got some potatoes right here. We got some like corn salsa type of mashup. I think the bacon's underneath here. Some salsa. I got the habanero sauce as well. And some gluten-free toast. So let's see, I'm, I need to get like a full-on bite. I think this is meant for the toast, but I'll take a little bit of the hot sauce as well. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 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 This is definitely spicy right here, the habanero sauce. I mean, it is habanero. Yeah, of course. I'll grab another bite. Looks so. <laughs> oh no, I'm spilling it. All right, this is a bit sloppy. The burrito situation here is delicious. Excuse me while I'm eating good. <laughs> South Pine Cafe in Grass Valley. Delicious. Absolutely I wiped delicious, yes. My plate clean. Yes, you did. <laughs> Yeah, I pretty much clean my plate too. You know, again, there wasn't a gluten-free wrap, but the uh, breakfast burrito was absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. I had a bite of the huevos rancheros. That was scrumptious. So next up on the agenda, we're gonna do some walking around because we gotta burn some calories after that I meal. Know, I think I'm ready. <laughs> I'm not ready. <laughs> gonna walk around a bit, check out historic Grass Valley, and then uh, go over to the Corvus Bakery.
We uh, actually looked up some information about Grass Valley. Mm -hmm. it turns out it was founded around 1850. It was settled into 1860, I think. Yeah, or it was in, officially incorporated in 1861. Yeah. It was, it's a gold rush town, like a bunch of Northern California towns. Huge gold rush country. So here in Old Town Grass Valley, there is a hotel called Holbrook, and it was founded in 1850, and it's still running. The rooms are, are modern. We haven't been there yet, but I think that's really cool. I thought it was just more of a... Old building? Yeah, so, well, <laughs> there's a saloon too, but like more yeah. of a restaurant. Yeah. I think that's pretty neat. It's like a legit old yeah. hotel. This Nevada County Bank it was founded in 1917, and now it's it's separated by stores. It's like shops has, now. Yeah, right? shops, salon, a cafe. Mm -hmm, yeah, and the knickknacks, the cake shop in the front. Mm -hmm. Crystal shop. Mm, crystal Empire gems. Wow. We used to love going to um, crystal we, shops back in the day. Yeah, we used to collect a bunch of rocks. Mm We're just gonna go for it. Ooh, it's warm. It is warm. The crust is so flaky. Now the vegetable hand pie has like potatoes and carrots and some other herbs. Let's give it a try. Mm. Mm. I can't tell it's gluten free, to be honest. The crust is so flaky. And it has a good amount of um, filling inside. Enough seasoning. Yummy. Very excited to eat this right here because I am the actual gluten sensitive person. You are the one. I like to have gluten free food, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this looks absolutely delicious. And the thing is, this looks like a buttery, flaky crust. And that's one thing that's really difficult to get when you're gluten free. You typically don't get that. So here we go. I'm going to dig in like so. Mm hmm. I feel like we can get six of those at home. <laughs> get a whole pack. Mm -hmm. So up next we have the apple hand pie. Okay, I'm just gonna pick it up. Ooh, that. Tastes like fall. Mm -hmm. But apple, I always with cinnamon. It's flaky and soft in the um, in the middle. It has that nice cinnamon sugar flavor yeah. that makes it. All right, apple pie time. Now I'm more of a cherry pie guy myself. I mean, I like apple, but cherry is uh, usually my favorite. But they don't have cherry, so this apple ham pie is going to have to do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It does 
have that cinnamon crust thing going on. Mm -hmm. I did get a little more on the crust side right here. Mm -hmm. So it's not like, it wasn't super juicy. Like I think over here might be a little bit better. I think I'm gonna do gonna that. I'm gonna have to go right in the middle. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go over this bite right here. This is delicious apple pie. I think I like the vegetable ham pie better though. The vegetable ham pie is like a perfect consistency across the board. Yeah. This one's good. But yeah, maybe I'm just more of a cherry pie guy. You are. Yeah. You are. I like it. So this is the last warm treat that we got here from Corvus Bakery. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be delicious. I'm gonna start with the side. Actually, I'm gonna try to get a little more in the oh, inside you're right here. Go for the middle. I see yeah, you know, is. the middle with cinnamon rolls. <laughs> it's the best. How's it? Oh, look at that. Okay. So it's not like it's not dripping with the cream. The cream is a little more dry at the moment, but mm -hmm. flavor is where it's at, right? Cinnamon roll like flavor going on. Oh, it's yummy. It is a bit on the dry side. Just a little. Maybe if there's more cream or something. Like honestly, this is like a nine out of ten for me right now. It's so close, so close to like legit cinnamon roll. You know, that's not gluten free. I'm having another bite. The crust is really delicious. Good quality. Really good stuff. I'm just gonna go for the outer crust. Mmm. A little crispy on the outside and a bit soft on the inside. Mm -hmm. And I really taste that cinnamon. That's important. Yeah. But yeah, it's a little dry, a little but bit, the right? flavor is there. Yeah. yeah. The flavor is 100% good. I'm going for the middle. <laughs> mm. Honestly, I love the outer part yeah, and the, really good, right? the middle section. Yeah. This is good. Mm -hmm. Aren't you yeah. glad that's gluten free? I am very glad. <laughs> so we have two more treats for you. This is a savory scone. Let's break it apart. Okay, okay. Take a look at that. Mm. Flavor heaven. <laughs> For a gluten-free scone, mmm, it's so moist. I love it. I could probably put a little butter. I think Pepe should try it. <laughs> Got a little crust right here. Mmm. Mm hmm I don't know. see the savory stuff. Oh, it's like full, like butter. Tons of flavor on the savory stuff. The sweet stuff is a little on the dry side, just a little bit. But the savory, like this is like perfect moisture. Mm -hmm. Moisture. <laughs> I was just gonna say moisture. <laughs> New word. <laughs> New word, moisture. Mmm. Savory is going for its out. Yeah. Mm. So good. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Last one. Mm. Gluten-free carrot cake. I'm hoping that it's really good because there have been gluten-free carrot cakes that I've tried. They're a bit on the dry side, uh -huh. so I'm excited to, uh, yeah. to try it. Where you bite? Right in the middle. Okay. I want to make sure I get the frosting. Yeah, I got a little bit of yeah. that. Let's give it a try. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. <laughs> that is delicious, and it's not dry. It's not dry, or maybe it's because I got the frosting, but yeah. the cake is moist. Moistery, this is on another level. Oh my god, it doesn't even taste gluten free. It's delicious. I'm gonna have another bite, just for science. Just for science. Oh my god. Mm. Mm hmm. The frosting is not too sweet. I mean, it's sweet enough, you know? So good. <laughs> I'm very excited about this. There is a nice little buttercream topping thing. I'm gonna grab a bit of this. Oh, okay. So that's a bunch of frosting. No, I'm gonna throw oh, some okay. carrot cake okay, in there. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna say. A little carrot cake right here. <laughs> <laughs> How about this? Look at that bite. Mm. Okay, here we go. <laughs> yes. Wow. I think that tops the sweets. This is delicious. Oh my god. 
These are the best carrot cake I've ever had. Delicious. I know. I'm having another bite. So another thing too is like the frosting uh -huh. is the right sweetness. You know how sometimes the frosting can be too sweet? Yeah. Or not sweet enough? Yeah. You know, not the right consistency? Mm -hmm. It's really the perfect consistency and sweetness yeah. for the carrot cake as well. Yeah. For like the texture. I agree. Wow. Ah, that is a winner right there. That is a winner. Really good. Mm -hmm. Wow. We got a full on game shop here, too. Yeah. Grass Valley. It's mm -hmm. cool. A Dig it. Really cool shops here. There is a lot of cool shops. Yeah. All right, so we ate at Corvus Bakery, and it was absolutely delicious. What was number one for you? The carrot cake. I thought it was going to be the cinnamon roll because we tried it before, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were here Once. about a month ago. Once. Right. But I never tried their cakes. And yeah, I'm gonna buy my cake here when it's birthday, special seasons, or even when it's not a special season. I don't care. I don't care. Yeah. Special time. I gotta say that carrot cake was premium carrot cake. Like mm -hmm. delicious. No, it doesn't matter if you're gluten free. Like that was a delicious carrot cake. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Anybody who's a fan of carrot cake will be like, whew, that is awesome. And the second one I would say is the cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think cinnamon roll for me as well. Although that savory scone was up there. No, as far as savory, the vegetable hand pie, right up there. Primo delicioso, Primo. yeah. For a savory, that's number one. For sweet, is the carrot cake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, overall for me, it went carrot cake and then savory scone, vegetable hand pie were like neck and neck, neck and, and then neck. just barely under was the, the cinnamon roll. Like just barely, because that was super yummy too. I hear you. yeah. So quick note also, we've been walking down Mill Street, which mm -hmm. I don't know if they always have it shut off or if it's on, only on the weekends or maybe because of the pandemic they've made it so people can open up the shops to the street. Yeah, because you see people eating outside, there's tables. Yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe that's, that's the reason. But there's also vendors and people selling their art and crafts. Yeah, it's just really cool. It's nice to come out and hang out. And uh, I don't know if it's going to stick around this way mm -hmm. post-pandemic, post-June 15th with the opening up and all that. But as it is right now, it's really cool. Dig it. All right, so final stop here in Grass Valley, I think it's gonna be at the this coffee place that we drove by. I have no idea if this coffee's good. We're oh, about no, to find out. Is it, is it called Caroline's? Or the same kind of coffee that we had at the Pine Cafe? Nice. Yeah, so maybe okay. we can just get more of a specialized one. Caroline's over here. We're Let's gonna go. get Yeah, we're gonna get like a espresso. Yeah. All right. So right outside Caroline's is this old post office. Must be like the original or something like that. Really cool. All these buildings are like historical. Yeah. Or have historic significance, mm -hmm. which uh, it's just really cool to walk around and see places like that. So is the iced coconut latte pretty simple? Oat milk, decaf, cappuccino. Mm, yummy. At first sip, it was refreshing, but maybe a little watered down. And I was expecting to taste more of the coconut. Maybe there's more water, or maybe the ice melted quicker. No, I can taste it a little bit more. Yeah? Maybe it's because it's a little bit more on the bottom. It's really good if you get it hot, like your um, 50s cappuccino was really good. Yeah, that was yummy. Yeah. Super delicious. 1852 to 1937. This is the building right here. This this thrift shop. Yeah, one of the like historic mm -hmm. OG buildings. Oh, yeah. Just like oh. that hotel over there. Yeah. Pretty cool. cool. Yeah, super cool. History. Officially heading back to the car now. Mm-hmm. Had a great day here in Grass Valley so far. It was wonderful. Yeah. We to be here in the morning. We right. had breakfast. Breakfast was Walked delicious. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> and we're back. 
back from Grass Valley. We had a great time. Yes, it was. Uh, yeah, it was really cool. Mm -hmm, nice morning into mm -hmm. the um, early afternoon. Yeah. I'm really glad that we got to explore a little bit, mm -hmm. but mostly that was really nice. this day was about food. It was definitely about food. Yeah. Like the breakfast. Oh man, that was yummy too. Yeah, South really, Pine really cool. Cafe South definitely Pine, yeah. is a must uh -huh. do for breakfast or lunch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really good stuff. Uh, thank you so much for going on the journey with us. We really appreciate all the support yes, on the thank channel. Thank you so much. Yeah. It was really cool getting to take you guys with. So if you enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button. Leave us a comment as well. Let us know if you've been to Grass Valley or plan on going to Grass Valley or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Or any kind of gluten-free shenanigans. If you have any suggestions on around that area yeah. for gluten-free mm -hmm. options. Or Northern California in general. We'd yeah. love to hear them. And that is going to do it for the video. Thank you very much for watching. We will catch you next time for another one. Deuces. Deuces.